we have to determine the percentage allocation at maximum force. First of all, as I have already explained to you, percentage allocation at maximum force is represented by this formula. L u dash minus L naught dash over L u dash L sorry L naught dash into hundred plus R m over E into hundred. Now let me explain it to you. What is L u dash? Now you see, as I have already explained to you. This is the length which is taken as 80. On the other side of the bar, I have put the mark at a distance of 100. So this is the distance 100, 100, 100. So, so this 40 meter length, sorry, 40 uh, centimeter length is divided into four segment, uh, 100 mm, 100 mm, 100 mm and 100 mm. Why it is divided into 100 mm? Because as per standard. Standard says here when you have to find out the elongation at Rm, this length should be taken as 100 mm. So that is why I have put marked over there. Now, next from where we will find out the value of L bar, it's it's like this one. Suppose you have this bar. And it's this area is cramped. Here, this is the length L naught bar. It is at a distance R2 from the broken end. This is the distance R1. This R2 should be greater than 2D. 2 is the diameter. It means 2 into 16 is equal to 32 mm. So, this distance as it has get ruptured, it is more than 32 mm. Now, the distance on the left hand side will be taken into consideration. And because there is some stretch on this, after being stretched, this distance is converted into L u dash. And this L u dash we will, uh, we will measure by our vernier caliper. So this distance L u bar or L u dash as I have measured over here, it is equal to 100 10 mm and let me mirror it. So this is a bar which has been broken down at this point. Here we are going to mirror this distance. First of all, we will see that this distance is more than 32 mm and it is near to the fracture and because this is away from the fracture we are taking the point into consideration which is near the fracture and at least the distance should be greater than 32 so it is uh, the distance uh, 65 mm it is far away it is 32 uh, it is a uh, nearly 47 mm and it is greater than the 32 and we will take into consideration this fraction. You see this one black mark, let me tell you again. This is the point. Here we will measure the length, that what change in length has occurred over this one, that length is given a name L u dash. So let me measure it. You see, its value is exactly one hundred and uh, 
Ten. So this is my final length L U Z 110. Now L naught bar is equal to 100 mm which I can show you over here before the rapture. You see this is the length 100 mm. And over here, L U dash one hundred and ten mm. I will put these value in this equation, and the value of E is already known to you. Okay, two hundred multiplied by ten raised to the power three newton per mm square. If I put all these value in this equation, now let us see what will be the equation. One hundred and ten minus one hundred divided by one hundred into hundred plus value of R M, which we have calculated already in our previous video, uh, and its value was uh, six fifty two. Divided by two thousand. <coughs> As I make this calculation, here I am going to get the value of ten. Plus. 652 multiply by 100 divided by 200 multiply by 0 0.36 326 approximately then I can write down this one here the value of A G T comes out to be 10.3 person and the minimum requirement as per standard is <coughs> triple four nine standard the value is five percent and my calculated value tends 0.3 per far greater than 5 percent. It means my this parameter has also been passed. So, so this was the just brief introduction about this one which I have given you over here. Next I will make an other video about the reduction of the area. Although it is not a part of our uh, testing but we should need to know about this one. Thank you for seeing this.